Just moving on from our concepts of um, strategy, strategic thought process, some of the more esoteric, um, conceptual, abstract items such as uh, stock variables, flow variables, coordination games, cooperative games, axioms of intuitive thinking with coordination and flow variables, axioms of rigorous thinking with cooperative variables and stock variables, bring them into business strategy and all that. We now want to encapsulate this into a business plan or strategic uh, planning concept. One of the important things of this element is right at the front, which is called, let's say for the terminology at least we use in our uh, software, in our system, background corporate information. We move on to formulation, implementation, evaluation later. Within implementation, we cover marketing. Within implementation, we cover re resource planning processes, procedures. With evaluation, we cover financial and all sorts of concepts. But this one, let's just look at, a big, at the beginning because it comes, in, in terms of mechanics of a business plan, it comes at the front. Background corporate information. We need to calibrate this within the strategic business plan, as I will explain later on with the other sections, so that it's precise and it provides the reader, particularly the reader, a very clear picture of what's to come. Why are we doing this? And at the same time, it helps the planner to actually clarify in his or her mind as to what are we doing. So whilst it seems to be an administrative section of background information corporate, it actually has got a very big role to play. In our methodology, we also embed some elements in here which drives the rest of the business plan. Some other uh, schools of thought, they actually embed those ones further downstream of the business plan, which we think actually makes things complicated. So let me cover and share some of this with you. Firstly, we need to decide and explain to the reader uh, to, uh, what is it? What sort of entity we're talking about? What sort of corporate entity we're talking about? What sort of pretext we're talking about? Is this a plan that is forthcoming in the, in, in the future sections about a turnaround a strategy, a distressed turnaround? Is it a plan that incorporates mergers and acquisition? Is it a plan that is a steady state running of the business? Is it a rapid growth plan? What is it that we, is coming forward? Secondly, some of the elements like the value propositions and things, in our methodology anyway, we incorporate here, right at the front. We say, we've got this value proposition. And another element yesterday, we spoke about that. The value proposition is context and a content and a matching of the content and context. Or if we don't have the value proposition, right at the front say, we're not sure if the value proposition is, important, is, is identifiable or we do ha we have any. Corporate background information needs to be clear and honest. It might incorporate vision and mission, in our case does, and we revise our vision and mission at the end to make sure that it makes sense after we go through formulation and implementation and evaluation. But you might say that our vision is hazy, <laughs> our mission is unclear. We have to be very honest. It makes the plan much more credible, much more practical. What we don't want to, or we want to at least avoid to do, is to make the corporate background information a cosmetic, slogan-driven section. Because I would share with you, and I think I agree with you, most of the people of decision-making will not read past the executive summary. If the executive summary, or at least background introduction, or corporate information that you want to call, captures their attention, then they will be interested in the rest of it and likely to get one of the analysts to check the rest. If we get that part wrong, internally and externally, this plan will not be as, as useful. So we go and say, what's the value proposition in this section? Well, if you don't know it, just say it. For instance, if somebody asked Bill Gates in the 70s when we had, he had the DOS system, which became Windows, Bill, what's your value proposition? What do you think you would say? You would probably say, what are you talking about? I don't know. He went on to become one of the most successful business people in the history. Same as Google. At a lot of times, the value proposition is indeterminate because we are in a sector of the industry, particularly with the startups, that is not deterministic what the value proposition is. Often, the value proposition is well stated when you're in a steady state. The value proposition has little value if you're in a distressed turnaround and you're going into receivership. So you need to deal with that in a pragmatic way. That's why we put it right up front. 
vision and mission, we've spoken about it before, they have to be uh, in respect of direction and management. Then there are other aspects of the background information that uh, it, it is very useful, particularly the executive summary. And as I'm sure many of you agree and have done in the past, executive summary, whilst comes right at the front, is the last section that one, the planner writes. In fact, it's best synthesized, even if it's cut and paste, of the implementation, formulation, and evaluation section. So we don't say anything that's contradictory to the rest of it. Vision and mission we can formulate. Value proposition we can formulate. Background information, introduction to the, to the thing we can formulate and later on come and change it. But one thing we do with the executive summary is the last section we write. Almost the planner is sure, or the planning team are sure of what, to say, what they formulated, what they want to implement, what's the cost of it, and then they come and uh, structure the executive summary together. So background information, corporate information, introduction part of the strategic business plan, whilst on its first site might be an uh, introductory cosmetic section, it's a very important section, and it will make or break the rest of the plan. Um, often uh, this section is gone through too fast in our methodology. We've got specific um, elements that means that this section is given its rightful position and provide that interest and um, clarity for the rest of the planet. 